46,000 see the opening of the fifth test of Melbourne, with Alan Davidson bowling and the West Indian opener, Cammy Smith, opening his account with a shot past point for two. Smith makes 11, then Kanhai comes in. Mackay bowls. Kanhai tucks him away back with a square leg for a single. McDonald fields, and Hunt refuses to chance a second run. Skipper Richie Bonneau to Kanhai. The West Indian Dynamo smashes him straight to the fence. Listen has no chance of getting to that one. The visitors score freely. Here's Misson running into bowl to Garfield Sobers. It's a nice shot too, through mid-wicket. O'Neill chases it, but they'll get two. Saturday's crowd is a world record 90,800. Wesley Hall provides early excitement as he falls, sweeping Simpson to leg. He gets up and there's one run in it. But Hall doesn't last long. He's missing bowling. The West Indian fast bowler's stumps are shattered. Hall can't believe it and starts walking off the wrong way until the Australians point him on the right path back to the pavilion. The West Indies are all out for 292 and Australia starts brilliantly. Laurel to McDonald. The Australian opener takes a single back with a square leg. He and Simpson put on a record partnership of 146. Laurel again, this time to Simpson. Hits it into the colours. Somehow Kanhai missed fields. It's a costly mistake because they'll get three before Hunt can return the ball. These two seem really set for a big score. Here's another single to Simpson score as he gets Sobers away towards mid-on. Simpson makes an invaluable 75. McDonald's 91 and everyone's looking for a century when Sobers beats him. Wraps him on the pads, he's out, LBW. The end of a great inning. The crowd's kept on its toes. And Norm O'Neill doesn't start too well. He gets three for this bow, as Hunt dives to stop a drive, misses, and has to chase it towards the boundary. O'Neill's out for ten, and Mackay joins Birch. Here's Sobers to the slasher, and two runs from a nice shot past square leg. But with two days of this vital test match over, it's still anybody's game. Speedster Wesley Hall comes into bowl to Burge. Another no ball. Agony for the crowd who don't hear the call and see Smith take a brilliant catch. Hall has plenty of pace as he bowls now to Davidson, who could help Australia to a big score. Two more runs. Davidson is settling in well. Another four brings his score to 24 and Australia a first innings lead. But he has a narrow escape as spinner Gibbs bowls to him. No, the catch was off a bump ball. Gibbs makes no mistake with Bonneau. The Australian skipper is gone for only three. Bonneau gambled in sending the West Indies in to bat first and Australia finishes with only the narrow lead of 64 runs. Here's the end of their innings. As Grout skies one to Conrad Hunt. He's juggled the catch as the West Indies use their magic touch to try and pull the Test Series victory out of the hat.